<laughs> you're the executive producer. I, yeah, I was gonna say showrunner, right? Yeah, that's it. And you're and you're new. I'm new. I'm the new guy. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Okay. So, anyways, um, surprise hit. I mean, we're, we're not just one season, two season. You were surprised. Season. I was. You know what? I yeah. watch. I watched the first two seasons. So I, I'm thoroughly surprised. And then and then I was like, who's this? <laughs> I'm, I'm the new guy. So, yeah, talk about your new character for, what, season three? Season three, yes. I come in, um, my character's name is Sasha Cooper. She's a former Navy intelligence officer who has a lot of ground experience with the Navy. She, when we meet her, she is in China and working as a sort of liaison, sort of a diplomatic role, trying to keep um, relations between New China and America peaceful and get as much intel as she can in the area when she's reconnected with Tom Chandler. She has a past with him. They go way back. They have, um, they're kind of more similar than they are different in my opinion. They're both sort of stubborn in the same way, both confident in the same manner. So they have a shorthand with one another, but Sasha challenges him in a way that no one else on the show does, which is a lot of fun to play. Well, I like the show because I, it was like against all impossible odds. The first, the first season, the world gets wiped out. The second season, there's what the the immunes pop mm -hmm. up. So what are we expecting here? I mean, China, the bad guy, or allies? What's going on? Well, you see, what you find out is that when worlds collapse and worlds get rebuilt, you know, strong men arise, pirates, ne'er do wells, mm -hmm. good people, mm -hmm. and democracy becomes a, a luxury that we can't always afford. And so not just uh, overseas, but in, in our own country, you know. Um, but as far as the adventures of, this, of the season go, yeah, this, it, a lot of it takes place in Asia this year. But it's not as simple as China's bad or China's good or Japan is bad. It's, it's, it's about the characters themselves and how mm -hmm. they, what they make of this new environment. And uh, as I said to the questioner during the panel, the idea of nation states is sort of antiquated at this point in this new, new world. Um, but despots rise, strong men rise, and yet you have to sometimes do business with them because we've got the cure and we want to deliver it to someone who can, we can trust with it, who can disseminate that cure. And if you have an infrastructure and you have an army and you have the will, well, I guess you're our partner because we don't have that many people who can do it. Um, but then what if that partner you trusted is not to be trusted? So uh, mm. all these things come up. And, and then in between that, you get just the people who are out for their own, just their own survival, you know, pirates and others. Mm -hmm. So, And Sasha knows the lay of the land. And even she knows what she doesn't know because it's, it's an enigma wrapped in a puzzle yeah. surrounded by something much more mysterious bubble than that. Wrap? Yeah, bubble wrap, yeah. <laughs> well, then that comes to the question is, can Sasha be trusted? I think we can trust Sasha. I mean, we'll have to see. Uh, she's certainly skilled, and she's well-trained, and she feels very at home uh, with a bunch of Navy SEALs. And But being on a naval destroyer is new to her. It's not an experience that she's um, had. So she's learning as she goes, but she's doing it with a man who she believes in. Now, you had the, um, a lot of, I want to say, fighting experience from mm -hmm. Agent Carter. Yeah. I'm sure you're not you're not going to miss it by g jumping from that show to this show right mm. you're, you're still going to shoot guns kick some ass well it's oh, a different yeah. style of fighting you know agent carter's more um i'd say it's more like heightened in terms mm. of the style um this training i've had and we have incredible military advisors on the show all former navy seals harry humphreys is incredible um and I had to learn a lot of tactical skills, how mm -hmm. to walk, how to carry the weapons, um, keep the head on a swivel, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I did have to learn a lot, actually. But my training yeah. in the other fields and dance helps. It all helps. But I'm still learning as I go. And then one last question. I talked I talk to the cast season after season after season in, you know, Puerto Rico, Central America, you know, all that kind of stuff. When are you going to finally send them overseas to film something? Well, let's see, see I'm, I'm, I'm asking directly. To yeah, you can, we can ask that to TNT. It's a question of budget, really, and about the best use of our time and, yeah. and our abilities to do it. I mean, I think, you know, just sending them to San Diego for a few days is very expensive. So um, we, uh, we are fortunate that we live in a place 
where you can make a lot of things look like other places, mm-hmm. and we have great visual effects. But I would love it. I would love to be able to take the crew and the ship to Italy. To Italy, mm-hmm. uh, just the two of us, you, me, and the ship. <laughs> and uh, no, yeah, it would be exotic and fun. Uh, we we almost went to Puerto Rico to shoot for mm-hmm. for Nicaragua. I thought you did when I watched it, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And we, all, and we almost went to Mexico to shoot some stuff yeah. for, the, for other places. But, you know, uh, if you believe what you're seeing, then it's working. The locations department and the set decoration and art decoration are incredible on the show. They work wonders. As are the visual effects people. Visual effects, so. oh my God, everybody. They all really top-notch people. Yeah. Terrific. Well, you know, I try to fight fight for a nice long vacation, but okay. Thank you <laughs> very much. Thanks for that. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. All right. Thank, thank you, you so care. much. Thank you. Yeah.